women, they say, I have powerful tool for change. My greatest inspiration to become a lawyer and my heroine is no other person than a woman that I refer to as the lioness of the Upper East region of Ghana. She is a 360 woman. That is a bold, intelligent, and a hardworking woman. She is a lawyer, a lecturer, a wife, a mother and a daughter. She is no other person than lawyer Mrs. Clara Kaulaga Berry Kaiser T. Born to Mr. and Mrs. Berry in the village of Manyoro Navrongo, she happens to be the first of five children. Clara always dreamed and aspired to become a lawyer in order to fight for the rights of the less privileged and to impact upon the economy of the country. But many people told her that her dreams were too ambitious and expensive for a lady. She listened to them because it is their opinion. But as Barack Obama once said, yes, we can. Hence, she persevered and got into the University of Ghana Law School. Clara has a very inspiring educational background. She happens to be the first woman from my region to be honored the Henri John Mensa Saba Memorial Prize of Law, the first woman from my region to lecture law at the University of Ghana Law School and the Gimpa Law School, and the best graduating student of her class. She was nicknamed Pia Gang by her husband. After an ancient, mythical, talented woman who stood in defense of her family and community, Clara has achieved and impacted lives a lot. She has represented the country in international front in issues relating to economy and law. She was the role model for comfort in 2010. Her tremendous contribution to Mother Ghana through coming up with a concept to aid in the collection of tax that has been approved by the Ghana Judicial Service and the Ghana Revenue Authority. Tax contributes 9.8% to the economy of the country, according to statistics of world economy. This revenue accumulated is used to fund the free education project, national health insurance scheme, construct social amenities such as hospitals, schools, provide roads to the people, good drinking water, and to boost the economy as a whole. Life, they say, is not a bed of roses. Hence, my heroine had her own challenges. She lost her father a week before graduating from the University of Ghana Law School and combining career with family. Auntie Jibodi and Auntie Jane will side with my heroine that it is not an easy task to strive in a male-dominated area. It takes a lot of effort to persevere. Clara advocates for the provision of daycare centers and paternity leave in order to ease the burden of career women. She believes that a healthy home contributes to a healthy nation. Gentlemen, wouldn't you love to stay at home to support your wives when they give birth? Queen Elizabeth II once said, when life gets tough, the courageous do not lie down. Instead, the more they get determined to struggle for a better future. True to these words, my heroine got inspired by the struggles of life and went ahead to pursue law amidst the criticisms of people of it being a masculine-dominated area and a profession for the rich. She is now an astute lawyer. Clara is a true definition of determination and that no matter your background, you can still pursue your dreams and have an impact in life. She is a symbol of possibilities. And for most young ladies like myself who aspire to become a lawyer one day, she is a beacon of hope, like the Angela Merkel and the Margaret Thatcher of our time. To all women like her who keep on inspiring lives, we say, Teboya Farah Zwezwe, Mama, Teboya Farah, Nawumwaya, Wewu Wolim Sota Pam Yusura. Ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause, I introduce to you my heroine, lawyer, Mrs. Clara Kaulaga Baby Kaiser T. Thank you.